concentrate on, on now, obviously, and I do believe, particularly with the revelations today, uh, there's less revelations than confirmation, I think, um, the condition does exist, we can uh, bring the politicians to heel. Um, and it's a sign to me that the wheels have truly fallen off the, the pro-war bandwagon and the lies are kind of drying up. Um, as my case shows, um, as when they dropped the desertion charge, and to me that was clearly to avoid a thorough examination of the conflict in Afghanistan. Uh, well, they, it looks like they're, they're getting one anyway. <laughs> it seems to me the driving powers behind this conflict are, are really failing. Um, today's leaks, however, confirm everything we'd long known. And there is a swell of support for, for the anti-war movement, and with that support for the soldiers, as in, as in the working class boys on the ground, um, who probably shouldn't be there for normal Afghans, and rightly so. I think their, uh, their goals are fairly close in time to each other. Despite what the government says, support for the war and support for the soldiers are not the same thing. In fact, they're two entirely different. And there is a generation of servicemen, and I know more than a few of them, who will never kind of rub the sand of Afghanistan and Iraq out of their lives, and they'll bring that back into their communities, um, which, is, which is going to be difficult, obviously. Uh, so if you do want to support them, then, then bring them home. And if you want to help to it, help Afghanistan, then you need to liberate it from Britain and America, it seems to me. <laughs> the onus is, is, is clearly on us, I think the power and the choice to do that are ours and no one else's. Um, I've got to mention, demo on the 20th, you to see that in, otherwise it's not on so, so be there, I'll, I'm going to be there hopefully, um, and hopefully you'll, uh, you'll stand on a full square with me uh, and take on. Well, I've got a list, an immense list of thank yous uh, to people, obviously starting with everyone from Stop the War, so Chris, Lindsay, Andrew, Jane, Tony, and, and an immense list, I'm sure they'll tell me if I missed them out afterwards. Um, but unbelievable, thank you to them, they've been fantastic. Uh, to General Giorgio and, Payday for, uh, Giorgio and Michael from Payday, they've been fantastic. Obviously to the guys who I've served alongside um, and still maintain close ties to, who need the, the help of kind of, a, kind of a mass movement to get them home uh, and support them. There's a lot of guys out there with PTSD and it, the army don't diagnose it, that's a matter of policy. Um, I've been told that point blank. All the supporters and, and campaigners out there, who've, uh, the people who demonstrated outside the, the Nick when I was in there, it was unbelievable, it was really heartening for me. Um, uh, countless journalists who've, uh, off the record, commended me, um, which was, was really heartening. Nick Rack, who's my barrister, I don't know if he's, uh, if he's in here tonight, but he's probably the best barrister in the world. Uh, John Sipple, who's a, who's a comrade, he's the only really way to describe him, but he's also been, been a mentor, he can't be here tonight. But um, I remember him quite clearly telling me, he's, he's full of really, he's a really quotable guy. And at the start of this, he said, the establishment are only kind of scary and big until you get up off your knees. And then it's a rather different perspective. So thanks to John. <laughs> my, my mum, Sue, who's, uh, uh, you know, fantastic, been amazingly supportive. Nicknamed her Pitbull, uh, she deals with uh, all she journalists and reactionaries. She's, uh, but she's fantastic. She's my, my lovely wife, Claire, who's yeah, really 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 a real soldier, and uh, it's kind of got, got me back on track when I was probably on my lowest end when I first uh, kind of washed up in Australia. It was an absolute mess. Um, it got me back on track and married me. No <laughs> <laughs> account for taste. <laughs> um, I, it's very important to me I personally, well I'd like to offer a personal apology to the people of Afghanistan um, for whatever I contributed to their, to their hardships. Um,